What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, hope you're having a great weekend and uh, welcome to this uh, middle of the day market update. Um, wanted to do a bit, of, a, a bit of an update on this uh, Sunday, which I usually don't do, because we have been getting a bit of momentum. Um, bearish momentum, that is. All right, so Bitcoin is testing the, the last support right here, uh, which I would say is right here at uh, uh, 50, 56,700. There we have the 302 fib of the of the move up, uh, but in general you can also see historically it's it's a strong level even if you zoom out to the daily um, or to the 12 hour time frame you can see it's 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 a respected level right you could say it goes all the way down to uh, 56,500 and that is true uh, but if we break down below 56,700 I I don't expect that level to all of a sudden hold us. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do a full update. If you watch my Bitcoin video, then you already know what I'm going to say. Next week, we have some uh, major economic events that are going to be interesting uh, with a speech by Jerome Powell, which will pro probably not be too um, uh, too interesting, I would say, or at least I haven't heard anything interesting about it. And then on, uh, on Thursday, we have some major news, all right? So that is uh, definitely worth it uh, and necessary to keep an eye on. Um, and then apart from that, technically, we are just waiting for some strong confirmation by Bitcoin. All right. Um, there's some other fundamentals we can talk, we can talk about the German government potentially selling more Bitcoin or not. Um, the development of the whole Mount Gox situation. We also have to keep an eye on that, of course. Um, but also uh, the dollar strength index, which is, has been relatively bearish uh, since last week. If that continues to be bearish, that is a, a, a real positive uh, influence. On the price of bitcoin and therefore on crypto so we have to keep an eye on that as well um i'll do that for you if you watch my daily uh, daily bitcoin videos of course um but for now it's, it's very much just uh, um, based around bitcoin all right we are and i'm trying to do something here so what we're seeing right now is that we are entering a new week all right so so new volume is about to hit the markets uh, volume for Bitcoin has, uh, in, as a matter of fact, already gone up quite a bit. It's, it's super high at $21 billion in the last 24 hours. Um, if you compare that to last week, for example, it was uh, 13. Um, so yeah, volume is already uh, quite high. So I don't expect a ton of, of volatility, but I do expect volatility. All right. And in the light of last week, but also in the light of, of, the, of, the, of the trend in the last month, um, it's, it's key to know where we are going. And the, the big question is, is all right, well, where are we going right now? And in my opinion, we have to wait for some sort of confirmation. All right, there are some, and we'll talk about that as well. There are some cryptos that I think look quite interesting here. Um, but for, for Bitcoin, it's a break below, let's say 56,500 or a break above 58,400. That's what we're waiting for. And then uh, I, I kind of feel like the, the signals of which one of those is more likely um, are mixed, all right? If you look at the order flow for, for Bitcoin right here, for example, what you'll see if I refresh it real quick, and um, what you see is that earlier today, we saw some major shorts being opened. Uh, then more recently, we actually saw some, some nice longs being opened. So it's, it's a very mixed bag, all right? Here you can see also some short positions being closed again. Um, so I would say like momentum is, is going up nicely, but that's about it, all right? It's a very strong level that we're trying to break above here at 58,400. I would say you need more momentum to actually break above that. Is it possible to, to gain more momentum in the next uh, 16 hours or so and that it becomes most likely will break out? Yes, um, but just keep an eye on that momentum then. All right, if all of a sudden the volume starts increasing, the open interest starts increasing and Bitcoin is rallying up to 58,400, then yes, we can actually quite easily break above that and rally up higher towards 60 would be my price target. But due to the momentum right now, um, due to the market situation, due to the, 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 the news and, and the potential news that could come, I would still say it's most likely that we will uh, spike up here, but that we will drop down below 56,500 and that will start to drop back down towards 55,000 at least. Um, but I'll keep you updated on that, all right? Um, now, apart from that, some cryptos are interesting to trade. So let me uh, quickly look at them. Uh, Turbo, I think is quite interesting. Needs to get a breakout if you want to long it. I would not short it at this point of time. That's too risky. Um, Fetch is not that interesting anymore. Golem or GLM, quite interesting if we can get a breakout because so far it just looks like a, a bearish retest. 
and then uh, a jasmine i think looks uh, quite interesting uh, for a short i would say um and then i had two more i believe um well at least at least not not has been very very bullish if we can break above 1.7 cents that looks interesting for a continuation even though eventually i think this will crash and fall again and yeah solana solana also looks quite strong retested the 302 fib decent reaction so far i'd say wait for a breakout above 144 if you want to long and uh, with solana so strong against bitcoin i would not short it those are my thoughts that's what i think you need to know for now thank you for watching take care and uh, and bye